Um, where do you think the priority areas should be right now for Rishi and team? Well, you kindly provided me with a piece of paper to list a few. And I think what that shows is actually there's a consensus. Cost of living crisis, war in Ukraine, uh, fixing the NHS. I would also add restoring competence and integrity. And I think Jacqueline might say something similar as might you, because I think there is there's a heated debate about what we do. But I think there's a degree of unanimity about what the problems are facing Britain. It's, it's too expensive for ordinary folk to live. NHS waiting times. Ukraine is a crisis. Cost of living is a crisis. Yeah, but none of these things are quick, easy fixes, are they? Some of these things are quite long term. So in the here and the now, you know, what would you like to see? We've got this, I don't know what some people call it. Some people call it fiscal statement. Some people call it a mini budget. Some people call it a budget, whatever, uh, on Halloween. If, you, if there was, I don't know, three things in there that would make you stop uh, wanting a general election... What would those policies look like? Well, I'm still going to want a general election, but, but at the risk of being pompous, I'd say the art of government is marrying together the really short term and the long term at the same time. So you see that in Ukraine, where we need in a very short term to keep putting money and weapons towards Ukraine. Uh, but that allows over the long term Russia to get the message they just can't expand and swallow up countries they see fit. Similarly, on uh, energy bills, you need short term immediate help now for struggling households, but reforms on things like energy supply, um, renewables, not becoming reliant on foreign nations, the quote-unquote excess profits of gas and electric companies that mean in the long term we're never in this position again.